Hi, my name is Khalid and welcome to my second online tutorial. Today I will be teaching everyone how to create their very own header logo with a custom made pattern. Uh, first make sure Adobe Photoshop CS3 is open then click on file, new, name your um, image and for preset choose custom with 900 pixels, height 200 pixels, resolution 72 pixels per inch, color mode RGB color 8-bit, and background contents transparent. Click OK. And to zoom in on your keyboard, press and hold the control key, then press plus. One, two, three, four. That'll bring you up to about a uh, hundred percent. Uh, next what you want to do is um, adjust adjust your panels the way you like. I don't need uh, those, so I'm just going to hit, going to close those and uh, make sure my layers palette is open. Uh, the first thing we want to do is choose the rectangle marquee tool, then press Control A to select the rectangle and uh, after done, you're done selecting the layer uh, click on fill uh, click on color choose your color for now I'm going to choose black press control D to deselect and then after you have done that um, create a new layer by pressing pressing control shift N you don't have to name the layer for now so just click on OK and then uh, once you've done that choose the line tool make sure you have these settings fill pixels is selected uh, geometry options are at its default with 15 pixels mode normal and opacity 100% uh, the next thing you want to do is find the left side of your uh, logo logo or header and drag the line downwards and then to make sure you're making a perfect diagonal line hold the shift key and when you hold the shift key you see that see the difference uh, it makes a straighter diagonal line then let go and now you have your very first white diagonal line and then uh, on your keyboard press control alt J to duplicate the layer uh, then make sure you select the move tool and then press shift on your keyboard and the right arrow key and move your diagonal uh, image you know and set it to where you you like it I normally like it one to about 20 pixels away from uh, each each other so then you can press shift alt J again to duplicate the layer and move the image and then uh, for a faster way you can hold down shift and make sure layer 2 copy 2 is selected and click on left click on layer 2 and as you can see all three of them are highlighted so that means all three of them you uh, next you will be making a duplicate of all three layers click OK and then move them to the bottom left and then uh, duplicate them one more time move them to the bottom left and now we can work to the right of the logo uh, select the very top layer and make sure it's your diagonal layer and then select the very last diagonal layer and click on duplicate and move those over to the right using your right arrow key on your keyboard and again duplicate and 
then maybe choose we have this right corner to fill so maybe choose two of them duplicate okay and, and there you have it your whole entire header logo is filled with a diagonal pattern now select your very top layer and then select uh, the layer before the black background so which will be layer 2 and right click it and click on merge layers as you can see if you double click it type in layer 2 you have renamed layer you have also made all of those layers into one layer and uh, the next thing we want to do is add blending options to it and add, apply some styles so we'll add a gradient overlay Uh, apply a stroke to it with a size of 1, position on the outside everything else leave the same except for fill type we'll choose gradient and uh, we'll use uh, the black and white gradient and then on layer 1 you can click on blending options uh, you can fill it in with uh, a gradient of your, of your choice I'm going to use this uh, black and white gradient and edit it and maybe turn the black into maybe some type of like a silverish color. Yeah, that looks good. 909090. Nine, 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 Click OK to accept. You could also uh, actually create. Uh, now, now that you've edited the black and white gradient that's al that already comes with Adobe Photoshop CS3 preset, um, you can name it. You can name it to silver or white to silver, and click new. And you have just made a new gradient. Click OK and OK to accept. Next, we want to add. Make sure you're. Uh, layer 2 is selected. Next we want to add some horizontal text. So pick a font, pick the size of your font, pick the outer edges. I like them to be sharp. Uh, pick uh, how you want to align the text, left, center, or right, and pick the color. I'm going to use black for now. Uh, apply. I'm going to apply a drop shadow, also a gradient, and use the white to silver gradient that we created earlier, and also apply a stroke to it, the size one, and uh, everything else the same except for the fill type. Uh, we will use a color instead of a gradient and I will use 4A, 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 click OK, click OK to accept and now we want to align this text to our header so make sure it's uh, a header logo selected press control click on layer 1 then go to your move tool select uh, vertical align center and horizontal align center and as you can see we have just created a header logo with a gradient and pattern of your choice custom made and you've also applied a font to it um, thanks for watching this tutorial my name is Khalid uh, please look forward to my up and coming tutorials um, and have a great day bye bye